This is Duco Continental Hotel, located on the highest point of Morovia, 1,000 feet above the sea level. It is the very first five-star and the oldest hotel built, ever built in Africa. Now you will see the beauty of Morovia, the heart of the city, and of course, you will enjoy yourself. It is of touristic nature, it is of cultural nature, it is of environmental nature. This is Liberia. The oldest republic in Africa. And, and this, this is, is the, the highest peak in Morovia. Daddy, thank you so much for bringing me to the heart of Morovia. Why the name Morovia? Well, as you may know, Morovia, James Moro, the capital city. Mm -hmm. But the initial name for Morovia was Christopolis, meaning city of Christ. Then, of course, in 1835, Maserado County, joined, you know, they have the name Maserado, named after President James Moro, the fifth president, because of his contribution towards the coming of the slave to Africa and his helping in putting the government into place. Wow, L let's take a walk. We are currently at the oldest five-star hotel ever built in Africa. Now it's abandoned, right? But I just want to know, who built this hotel? Well, this is owned, uh, it, still, it was owned by government, okay. but this hotel was built by the Pan American Airways in 1954. The engineer for this hotel was Prince Neil. An Israeli fellow was an engineer. Wow. And they, of course, those days, in the 80s, in the 50s, in the, in the whatsoever you name it, it was the top leading hotel. 1979, my son, when Liberia hosted, hosted OU conference, yeah. 1979, there was the nerve center, there was the boiling point. Though we have beside this hotel, we have another hotel in Virginia, okay. which is called Hotel Africa, which has 210 rooms, and this one has close to 500 rooms, exclusive of the offices that are here. Well, what is the height of this hotel? Because I feel like it's the tallest building in the It is, it is. It, of course it's the tallest, but it is located on the highest peak oh, in Morovia. In Morovia. It is above, the, the area is above 1,000 feet above the sea level. Wow, so yes. standing here you can see of the course, of, co of course you can look, see look at, look at the beauty, like you guys, you have no idea what we see in here, man. The beauty in here, this is the Atlantic Ocean. That is the Atlantic Ocean. But is Morovia and surrounded by... Of course, Morovia is almost an island. It is surrounded by water. The Atlantic Ocean on the north, in the north, and in the, 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 in the south. And of course, in the north is the Mansurado River or mm. Stockton Creek. And then on the other side, we have to do all over. We are surrounded by water, as you can see from this point. Wow. Can't wait. The historic city of Morovia. Historic city of Morovia. Yes. So which means that this city is really historic. Yeah, it's, it's a so historic. Much rich history. So it has so much rich history, since, in fact, before 1822. It's my first time here. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you were around when they built this. Would no, you ever I, see it when they were operating it? No, and when they were operating it, I never saw it. Never but saw when it? it got through completed, I was I worked here, OU Conference 79, okay. as a tour guide. Okay. I used to carry the visitors around. I was assigned at RI at the airport, receiving guests okay. from the airport, tourists from the airport. And then I was assigned on board the, the floating ship hotel that was here assisting the hotel and Duke and, and uh, uh, Virginia. Uh, Hotel Africa, but I brought some tourists here. It was a beautiful place. It was almost like a paradise in Africa. I, I heard there is a duplica of this hotel in Ivory Coast. Yes, yes. Felix, the late Felix Hofer mm -hmm. of Ivory Coast. The late um, 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 Kenya President Jomo Kenyatta. Okay. They took the model from here and carried it to their various country Trees. because they saw this place was very beautifully built. Wow. And why is it abandoned? Why is it well, abandoned? Well, uh, you know, it is due to the war. 
We fought 14 years of civil war, okay. and it's how it is like this. Wow. But uh, the government is trying. Some people, early, during early Salif administration, um, Gaddafi tried, but he felt he came with his other thing. And I'm sure some investors are now investing to see that it get in place. This, of course, when it's built, it will provide job opportunity for the Liberian people and other foreigners. And of course, it will boom, the, it will add value to our accommodation sector. It will add value to the tourism sector of the Republic of Liberia. What we pray and hope for is this government has the, the this government is, is you know, giving you know, people the add the something to build and invest in this hotel. So as a result, they're always advertising to people to come and invest in this area. But I'm sure I'm of the conviction that somebody on the ground engaged this facility to rebuild it to rebuild the hotel. It's in an RD area. You, as you can see, you can see the executive mansion. You can see the Capitol Hill. You can see the Ministry of Information. Of course, you can see everything here. In the northern part of it, the building, Hotel Ducal, is uh, the, the slums town of West Point. And above West Point, there we have our, um, the harbor, the free port of Monrovia, okay. which was built in 1944 by President Tutman which is the gateway to Liberia's economy. And to the west, to the southern part, we have uh, the diplomatic enclave of Mama Point. Okay. And to the eastern part, we have the central Moravia, out of the city. Okay. And to the south, to the western part, there we have uh, Virginia, or from there on the Atlantic Ocean, you can go straight to Sierra Leone, Liberian border. border. So this is how it is like. Wow. Of course, indeed, a beautiful place that needs government attention. This is a reservoir water. You know, dry okay. season, when dry season comes, it's okay. very hard to get water. So water and sewer connect a pipe from the reservoir here. Yeah, okay. So the surrounding, the locals come here to get water from Water here. from here. Yeah, but this should have been the, the restaurant. I, 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 I feel like this should be renovated because it's still strong. The yeah. building is still strong. The structure is still standing strong. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This is how it is. Wow. But the government trying, we put up to investors to come and invest into the Okay. Uh, even the Hotel Africa. Hotel Africa. If you have money out there and you think that you can invest in this structure, make sure you go see the, um, who should they see, the president? Uh, well, the, we have the president executive, we have uh, people in the parliament uh, mm -hmm. that are responsible for such things, <laughs> and we have the investment commission area, and people contact the, you know, possible people that can you know, put it back, for such restore thing. it there. Yeah, because it, it's yeah. beautiful, like if you check the surrounding, I can't imagine those days, how it looks like. Oh, very oh. Oh my goodness. Just like in New York. Or <laughs> country or country. Wow. Amazing. This place really looks luxury. So I wanted to know who are the people who used to come in here? The head of state, like uh, Ali Salasi came here. Wow. Felix Sufa Bayan came here. Even Sekuture, Kwame Nkrumah, including Queen Elizabeth. You know, as you know, this was built during Tottenham administration. Okay. Tottenham was elected in 1944. He was a 18th president, and it was that time that they built this this uh, structure. And of course, a lot of dignitaries and even uh, uh, musicians, they came here. Oh. This is one of the double rooms here. The double room here. The double room here. Wow. The closet, everything, the bathroom. Wow. Yeah, you can see here. Wow. This is wow. Yeah, you can see here. This That's is the bathroom there. That's Interesting. The but this. This was the bathroom. This was the bathroom. Okay. Wow. Everything. Everything. Yeah, so I, I want to say thank you so much for educating me and also the entire public about this place. Uh, is there any final message that you have for everyone? Well, I just want to tell you people thank you too okay. for promoting Liberia tourism industry, for promoting the entire country. Okay. And I just want to urge you people, when you go, let them come and see Liberia. Experience, come and experience Liberia. We are very friendly people. And as you may hear on BBC, Liberia was rated the number one, no, number one in the whole of Africa for being so friendly, hospitality, and we were rated the number eight in the whole world for being so hospitality. Wow. We have all natural attraction in Liberia. Wow. You are welcome. We receive tourists every other day in Liberia. The entire 45 per, 43 thousand square miles has tourism potential. Wow. We have accommodation. We have transportation. You name it. 
Thank you very much. And all you need to do is your book, your ticket. And whenever you book your ticket, you come to Liberia. Make sure you come and visit the famous Duca Palace Hotel. Thank you so much for watching. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Don't forget to like, share, leave a comment, and let me know you actually enjoyed this episode. I am Maya. More to come from the oldest republic in Africa. Peace out. A pleasure, Legion. A pleasure, Legion, to the flag of Liberia and to the republic for which it stands, one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all. We are hospitality people. We are hospitable people in Liberia. You are welcome. Joe, I say you more can. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, just.